I appreciate y'all having me. Eight, you know what I'm saying? All I know day, I've been bro. trying to get up here from San Diego, bro. It is better late than never. I mean, that's what I was you know, through the traffic. I fucked up and went to that stupid ass. You, if you own a 91, goddamn it. Hey, don't fuck up and go 91 West on that carpool and that bitch take your ass no, you gonna be 18 going miles ways, fucking man, up the fucking I'm way fine. before you can get off the goddamn exit and come back the way you're supposed to go. You're going to go 17 go, miles yeah, the wrong go way. You're going to go all the way to Anaheim. All before you can get off. That's what happens. So. Yeah, damn. You got to go all the way to the You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. You got to go all the way to the West. That's, That's right. the name of my new shit, Get Your Feet Whoop. And it's a salute to everybody that got hands that 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 uh, squabble your ass up before they pick up a gun and take your life. They got the heart to squabble you up. And shout out to all the niggas that are, that are squabble up. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, let's squabble up, nigga. Exactly. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah, shout out to them niggas draw. with some heart, some real heart. Now, before yeah. we go, I want mm -hmm. to ask you a question real quick, man. Yeah. Because you came out of San Diego and you always was repping your stuff. It's like when I first heard Eight, I knew he was a crip. Yeah. First heard you and you was a crip, right? Yeah. Is there do you see any big any big difference between the way San Diego get down and the way Los Angeles get down as far as gang banging? Because I know you from forties. Mm -hmm. My um God brother Bob is one of the you know, he's one of the original four forty crip members. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you think there's any difference kinda? Um it is it, it is in a way, but at the same time, it's a lot of similarities. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of similarities, but like with LA, the difference of San Diego and LA, like San Diego is like it was mostly bloods and LA mm -hmm. was mostly Crips. Exactly. You know what I mean, so that's one of the differences is is it was more of bloods in San Diego than the Crip hoods, you know what I mean? And in LA is the total opposite. So that's one of the differences. But um a lot of motherfuckers connect, we connect with each other because sometimes niggas got family from different hoods and shit like that, so niggas mm -hmm. connect. But the main thing about it is like, um, like, like motherfuckers from my era, like we trying to push a line as far as like niggas is making music. I don't give a fuck if you dissing each other in the music. Nigga, make music is better than a motherfucker going across town to yeah, try to hurt you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather it be on wax, nigga, than a motherfucker really out here you know what I'm saying? Actually trying to do some harm to some motherfucking body. I know it's like a lot of you know unity now. Like you said that you was like you and Mitchie Slick, y'all talk yeah. about doing some things. Shout out yeah. my boy. I got like two songs with Mitchie. Yeah, and I that's think that's people, dope, man. man. I think that's, that's how it is. should be because I always felt like if San Diego could kind of unify, mm -hmm. y'all got some serious rappers out there. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Um, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? With me and Mitch, we did a sh we did a show with Exhibit uh, right before the pandemic happened. You know what I'm saying? And we talked about doing some shit, putting some shit together. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to my bro Cricket. Cricket uh, is actually responsible for like Mitchie Slick's first album. You know what I mean? Cricket from the hood. You know what I mean? And um, he been trying to get us together for the longest. So we telling him, hey man, put this shit together. Let's let's get to making, let's make an EP or something. Because when that we did that show um, with Exhibit, we took a picture together. And that one picture ended up being in fucking... Um, restaurants in San Diego, you know what I'm saying? Like one of the restaurants I go to, um, um, Pollo Grill, you know what I mean? They got me and Mitchie Slick picture up in there, you know what I mean? So, and I, and I go in there all the time and I see that shit on the wall, I'm like, it shows me like, this is what San Diego wants. Fuck all the where you from, where I'm from bullshit because we done been through that. We done both been parts of the problem. Let's be a part of the solution. Let's lead yeah, by example, you know what now, I mean? And I feel like, yeah. um, you know, by us leading by example, we do some music together, do a do a show together or whatever it right. is, it shows that it could be done. You know what I'm saying? And and um it's not like I haven't tried to do the shit before. You know what I'm saying? When I did the trued up video, when I did uh, the record called Came Around, um, that was on the Master P West Coast Bad Boy shit, that had Baby Scar on it. Baby Scar was from Skyline, you know what I'm saying? With me, him and uh a, a rapper I had called Baylok. You know what I mean? Me, him, and Baylo was on the record. Two niggas from the hood and the Damu nigga. He was actually in a trued up video. You know what I mean? So I've been always trying to connect the dots. You know what I mean? But that's right. I, I think now, um, like with the show we're about to do, is me, Mitchy Slick, Mac Ten, DJ Quick, mm -hmm. Thugs and Harmony, MC Eight on the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We finna tear that bitch down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's June tenth. You know, and I, and I know a lot of the audience is coming because some of those people on the lineup you don't get to see. You know what I'm saying? It'd be mm -hmm. sometimes it'd be the same every time it's the same lineup. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm ready to go. I'm in the gym. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, hey, by, by that time that show come up, I'm going to be cut up to death, nigga, ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to tear that motherfucker down. Big ups to you Mac 10, I mean? and that's June 10th in Beverly Hills. Yes, sir. Shout out to Mac 1-0 for putting it together. We finna tear that bitch down. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Man. Well, man, I, I really appreciate you coming through, dog. Hey, thanks oh, for hey, having man, me, man. Y'all need to go follow J.O. on his Instagram, man. Yeah, Which follow me at, at J.O. Felony Music. That's on all my shit. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the shits. You know what I'm saying? Follow me there. I got a new album coming out called Get Your Feet Whooped. It's finna be Stupid Fly. Shout out to uh, Slider Piper. Um, Dr. Dre helped me record a lot of the shit. And... Um, Shit, it's finna be dope as fuck. Hey, real quick before you go, I gotta ask this because you don't say it, the good doctor's name. Yeah. How is it working with Trey Dog? Um, I'm gonna tell you like this. Like with me, um, it's like like playing with Michael Jordan or something. It's like it take your some about Dre take your motherfucking adrenaline up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So 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 with me, I, I'm rapping on all kind of different beats, and I got Slaughter Piper doing bomb ass hooks and all them tracks is coming from the aftermath camp you know what i mean mm. so um it's just like you know it take your adrenaline into another place you know what i'm saying so now that i'm in the studio it's like them niggas know how how to get get the best work from me is is give me the track and let me go home you know what i'm saying mm. and when i come back i'm gonna say some amazing shit if i gotta write on the spot i might say some amazing shit but you're not gonna get the best out of me trying to write on the spot you know what I mean? Even though we can do it like that. But if I get to go home and sit with this motherfucker for two, three days. Mm. Mm. You'll come with some shit. Yeah, I'm going to come back with that shit. You'll come Guaranteed. with some shit, man. You know what I mean? So that's the thing. It just take a nigga adrenaline to another level. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, man. You know, you playing with the, playing with the A-team. You know what I mean? Exactly. Hell yeah. Hey, you, ain't never, you ain't never did no work with Ray yet, huh? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. That got to happen. Good doctor, man. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I, I need you on this next album, yeah, Trey. I kill you with some fire, man, or get me on this bed. It's all yeah, good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need you, man. Well, shit, I appreciate you, homeboy, man. Yeah, I appreciate Shout out to the homie still. Big Mike, man, in the cup, man, on Drove yeah. out here with the homie, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Of California, man, and that's, that's it, man. It's just the beginning still, you know what I'm saying? It's how we do, Straight man. Up. You know what I'm saying? We bring y'all the official right here. Gangsta, Gangsta Chronicles. Chronicles, man. We out yeah. of here. We chill. out of here. Peace. Yeah. Just gangsta chronicles, we can tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Gangsta chronicles, this is not your average show.